Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the International Women's Day celebration here in Pakistan. It's a celebration that's being conducted all over the world. It's a very important celebration because it's the 100th anniversary of celebrating International Women's Day. It's not just a day, it's a day that marks a movement that has been supported by women all over the world. Starting from Europe, this is a movement that has spread across the globe and it includes both the support of men and women who have fought for the rights, the dignity, the place in society that women really deserve. I have with us today a very diverse and interesting panel of uh, participants and they all come in with their wonderful expertise and we're going to explore, elaborate and celebrate our theme today which is stepping into success for women's microentrepreneurship in Pakistan. I'd like to introduce our first panelist. This is Aisha Sefuddin. She is a CEO of uh, her own organization, a business called Karwan. And it's actually a process which takes uh, women through uh, in an equitable and a fair manner in securing economic empowerment. Our second panelist is uh, Madam Dr. Marilyn Wyatt. She is uh, the wife of the US ambassador here in Pakistan. She, in her own right, uh, has worked extensively for NGO governance. And you'll wonder what that is. That is improving the performance of NGOs, making them more efficient and effective. She is also a mother, a wife, highly traveled around the world, and is an advocate for women's rights. With her, we have Simi Kamal. She is a chief of party of a uh, gender equity program, a US supported program of Aurat Foundation. And this program is aimed at reducing gender gaps in Pakistan's support of Pakistan's own gender empowerment policies and its international commitments. And she's also an internationally known gender specialist and is also an entrepreneur herself. And uh, has a passion to work along women's rights, water and environment. Our other panelist here, and we're being very gender equitable, is Tosi Khaider, and you know his face, he's very familiar, but what you may not know about him is that he is a dynamic uh, owner of uh, an organization called Black Box Sounds, and uh, which is primarily involved in producing documentaries and extensively covering issues around women's uh, empowerment, entrepreneurship, and gender. Along his side, we have Maliha Hussain. She is program director of Mehergar. She is, uh, she is uh, working specifically for the rights of women and uh, young girls. And uh, she's actively involved in the uh, movement against sexual harassment of women at the workplace, uh, which is also known as ASHA. And ASHA has been instrumental in getting two bills approved, laws passed, uh, which will protect women against sexual harassment. So welcome all to this discussion today. I'd like to start off by drawing your attention to the uh, theme of the day uh, and uh, the celebration that we're having, which is what is the significance of celebrating International Women's Day? And for that, I would like to invite um, uh, Aisha to give some comments on what do you think is the significance of International Women's Day? Um, I think it's a time where we share our achievements because I feel in our daily lives we get so caught up with what we're doing. If you haven't been doing so well, you identify the gaps and you make future strategies of what you can do. It's really to celebrate the fact that how far we have come in securing women's rights. It's really interesting and I would really like to invite uh, Marilyn to give a little bit of our global perspective as well. Well, one thing that's exciting to me about International Women's Day is that it's truly international. It's celebrated around the world. It's uh, something that unites women mm -hmm. on this day uh, in a theme, and, and men too, I should add, uh, men and women, uh, celebrating how far women have come in the past 100 years. It's truly astonishing when we just sort of step back and look at all we've done, and there's still so much more to do, so. Yes, yes. thank you very much. Simi, do you think you want to also add to the dynamic of International Women's Day with its particular reference to Pakistan since uh, Aurat is working so closely with women's agenda. 
Well, I think it's uh, one of the best celebrations that we could do for women, uh, partly because it's international and partly because it is of so much significance to us in Pakistan. Because as you know, uh, we seem to take one step forward and then two steps backwards. So this day gives us thinking time for us to put our heads together and see how do we stop those backward steps from happening and just continue to move forward. So I would like Tawseer to also show us how, how does the media and International Women's Day? Uh, I think every TV channel and radio uh, channel and every newspaper is telling, acknowledging stories of success and uh, women who are in very, very backward rural areas, but they are doing incredible work, uh, which has to be, which should be brought uh, in perspective and should be showcased, yes. But generally, if you ask me, I think uh, when we talk of uh, backward steps, uh, I think media has to learn to, yes, uh, talk about rape and other harassments and uh, all, all the things which, which women, women go through, which should be brought to, to the public and which needs improvement. But at the same time, I think just for the sake of sensation and spice, media sometimes goes over the board and sometimes neglects the stories and uh, issues and, uh, and individuals uh, which need to be uh, brought uh, in the limelight and in, into perspective. Uh, that, I think, uh, that, that, that's something which I personally, I'm, I am from media myself, and I sometimes feel that we anchor persons also, sometimes just for the sake of getting ratings and the spice and, uh, uh, and these kind of sensations, we go a bit overboard. So I think uh, my message, not really message, but my concern today is that we need to bring some positive, image and some positive story, something good which is which this society, if we talk of Pakistan especially, which this society is doing with the, the kind of transformation, the change, change towards better, this, this society is going through, should and has to be brought into my mind. How the enabling environment is also being created through the efforts of empowering women in an environment where there is no sexual harassment in the workplace. As we continue to work, as Aisha said, we forget about our achievements. We need to stop and celebrate our achievements because, you know, in the midst of everything that's going wrong, there are positive things happening and we need to acknowledge them and celebrate them and move forward with the positives. And I think days like this uh, give us an opportunity to do that. Speaking about women entrepreneurship, I would like to direct this question to you, Aisha. On what do you think are the characteristics of uh, women entrepreneurs? And what is their economic impact? If I look at all the women I've met, they've been very quick to identify an opportunity. They've been very creative in uh, uh, identifying opportunities also, and they make use of that creativity. Uh, they've also, you know, they've shown that, you know, their risk, they can take risks. You know, they invest the little resources they do have, so they're risk taking. They're also in these days, mashallah, very resilient. Um, you know, um, we're talking about two steps back, but you have them pop up. Something happens, uh, you know, some, uh, like for instance, there's uh, in the market, there's a disturbance. It doesn't stop them from not coming back again to the markets. So, you know, they're risk taking, they're resilient, they're creative, they identify opportunities, and they're very, very strong willed. Because women uh, micro entrepreneurs are just not micro entrepreneurs, they're wives. Uh, their sister-in-laws, their mother-in-laws, their uh, daughter-in-laws, their sisters, and they have to manage everything. Um, their mothers, they, so with their business, they're taking along their whole family. I think now we're going to try and wrap up the conversation and take a break. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And we return to our wonderful panel of uh, analysts right here and to the occasion of the International Women's Day celebration. I would now like to pick up where we left off, talking about the economic impact of women entrepreneurs. Um, also important in connection to that is what are the kind of milestones women have covered, uh, the positive changes women have been able to bring to the economic and social change in Pakistan and who better to contribute on that than Simi? Thank you. Uh, being a 
entrepreneur myself. I just like to pick up from there okay. and say that uh, I believe that the real way forward for Pakistan is economic development. Yes, we can have the donor-funded uh, social development programs, and they have.